Hi, I'm Jill, the co-author of the cookbook Dining on a Dime, and today I'm going to show you how to clean a porcelain sink. Usually I use, when in my dishwater, um, a couple of caps of bleach, and I just take it and I swish it around right before I start washing my dishes, like this. And I just let it set kind of on there while I'm doing my dishes. It doesn't take long, and my, my sink happens to be clean, but if you have stains, just let it set. The longer you let it set, the better it bleaches out. Now, sometimes uh, people don't like to use bleach and different things, um, and I used to use even more so Comet, when you have dark um, marks from a pan, you know how you put a pan in a white porcelain sink and you get those marks in there? So then, those times you can use just on the mark, or you can clean your sink with the Comet. And when I clean it with the Comet, I just scrub it all around. Let me put my pan out here. And I just scrub it. These, that's where my porcelain, this porcelain's about 70 years old, I think. And I have dinks in it. And then, once you get it all scrubbed really good, I will walk away and maybe let it set for 10 minutes. You don't have to, necessarily. It depends on how dirty your sink is. Now, for something like this, I would just let it set for a minute or two. Then, when it's ready, you just take, and it rinses very easily. I just wash the rag. And if you don't get all totally rinsed off, it really won't matter. You'll just sit, sit there and keep cleaning. And there you have it. Like I said, this sink is about 50 years old, and it's really not for a white porcelain sink in too bad shape. Good. Tara asked me, she said, okay, show them how to get a mark from a pan out of your porcelain sink. I don't ever have marks in my sink, so I, I said, well, I'll try, and I was trying to make a mark, and I finally got a little mark made, but when you, when you set a pan in the sink, or when you are um, scrubbing a pan, lay a rag down, the dish rag or another dish rag down, and put the pan on top of that. That prevents the, the marks from getting in there in the first place, and so then you don't have to uh, worry about scrubbing, scrubbing. Prevention is way better than trying to fix, fix the mistake or fix the mess. And I also have this rubber dish pan that I wash my pans in, and so I set them on the rubber and it automatically makes it fine. You, some people use a rubber mat in their sink too, and you can use that to set your pans on. Now I've got a little bit of a mark here, just a small mark I finally made, and I'm just going to take a little bit of Comet powder. You could probably use any kind. I use Comet, and as you can see, I just even use my finger and the mark's gone. It just totally does. I always use Comet because the Comet, you can use Bonami and things like that, Maybe, uh, but the Comet is good for porcelain sinks. It bleaches it where Bonami and the other powdered cleansers don't always um, have the bleach in them. So that's why I like using the Comet because it's, it's just about as gentle as the Bonami, Bonami and those other types of uh, powdered detergents. So that's as simple as it is. You just can sprinkle some bleach or comet in the sink and take your rag and scrub, and those marks are gone. If comet doesn't get it off, you've got a really bad spot. You can use wet dry sandpaper. Just go to your hardware store and they will show you what you need. And then, voila, it's gone. Especially if you have a lot of them, you can do it that way too. Thank you for watching us, and please join us on livingonadime.com.